Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail and it's Try Something New Tuesday. Today, I hope you'll stay with me while I use a way to grunge papers up to make them look very old uh, and making um, journal cards out of them. So I did try it ahead of time, and these are some of the journal cards I made, and this is the method that I got from Which Craft Do You Do? And uh, it, uh, I will show you um, their me her method. Um, she uses, uh, she used, and it was actually there's a, her mom. It's her mom <laughs> who comes on. Um, she uh, did this because they do digitals and sell them. And um, so you, you obviously can use digitals for this. But I, I, did, I did some with a digital. This is a digital that I had. And then I tried like some book pages. And so that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how you do it with a book page and um, the method that you use. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is put it on something that will be your backing. And I am going to use this page right here. So I am uh, using glue stick. I'm just going to use a lot of glue stick on it. And make sure that I get it all over everything. Of course, you can always go back in with, um, with like glue, uh, like a white glue or something if you need to but I like to use this because it keeps it nice and flat okay I got a little hunk that fell off don't want to waste it stuff's expensive okay the good stuff and then I'm laying it on the background and using some type of card or something or even just your hands but to sc scrape it on make sure it's stuck down everywhere okay and um usually i let it dry a little while but i'm going to cut it right away because i want to show that part didn't have an extra one made. I did, but I cut them all up. Okay, so then what you do is you decide where you're going to cut it off, and I'm going to cut it like on this black line that's around the edge. And I think on the bottom, though, I'll leave the page number on. And then I figure out about, you know, what is in half. And I'll do that by just measuring it right on this board here. On this ruler right here. Once I get this cut. And... Okay, so right now, this is six and an eighth. So, it's going to be about 3 and a 16th. So, it's just, just a touch past 3. No, that's not right. Is it? No, it's longer than that. No, 6... Yeah, it 
is about six. Yeah, it just doesn't look in the middle to me. I don't know. It's it's I'm having the math again. <laughs> this right it should be three and an eighth yeah okay all right yeah it just didn't look right but it is okay and then this way it is eight and a half about so four and a quarter about and I'm just cutting them into parts like this I didn't get quite in half, but it, that's okay. That's what happens when I hurry up. Okay, so then you end up with pieces like this. And then you go ahead and you, you can, if you want to, um, do your corners, round your corners. You can do that. And you get that done. This one would be really good in a nature journal, I think. Okay, now you've got all these cards like this. Okay, so the next step is, let's put a few of these out. Just trying to get some different sizes and kinds. This was done with a page of Dante's Inferno in Italian. Um, and then sometimes you have some that don't have a lot on, and that's okay too. And that's just the background. I'll do one of those. Okay. You are going to put some glue on this, and you're not going to be able to totally see where I'm putting this while I do it. But I'm going to um, just kind of talk about what I'm doing. All right, um, I'm using up some old glue sticks. This is really old, but it still works. You can take something that's round like this is and give yourself a ring. And so I'm getting glue on there. And I'm just kind of putting some glue on a couple of spots and then you're going to take a tissue a facial tissue like Kleenex and you pull apart the um, the plies like these happen to be three ply you pull those apart and they usually come apart pretty fast but you can always do the tape trick if you can't get it apart they come apart usually pretty fast Ugh, come on now that I said that they come apart really fast they're really easy to get apart ah there we go see it was really easy to get apart <laughs> oh it's one of those days okay um, and actually I'm gonna rip 
this off and use it on another one and actually you can you know you can use them if if you want to on other things now i'm putting these aside i'm actually going to have some that i did earlier that i'm going to do the next step on but you go ahead and um put your your things on and you might want to do just you know whatever and then you put that on there now I did some ahead because it seemed to me that if you let it dry it works better so again and you don't have to put a ring on every one of them but it's kind of fun to do that like somebody left an old That's the end of that glue stick. Okay. All right. And this one was from an archaeology book. another dish, different old glue stick here I'm kind of looking where the glue where the glue is on this one okay Pat that on, get it to stick. One more. So once you've done this step, well, then you're done with your glue and after it dries for a little while you're going to pull it up so you're go what's going to happen is you're going to get some of this left behind where the glue was now you don't necessarily want you know big pieces left behind so i kind of rub it and get most of it off and leave just the stuff that really is stuck down well. So I played with it a, a little bit ahead of time because I wanted to make sure. Now, once you have this done, you're going to take, whoop, it's a mysterious flying tissue. All right, you're going to take a brush and um, I, I tried various colors. This is um, expre uh, ground espresso and you're going to rub that on it. 
Now where the tissue is, it already looks kind of lifted up like, you know, you can see where I did the, the circle. And you get, I didn't get that corner very well. I'm going to do that quick. All right. And you see how that looks aged? Where you have the tissue and where the glue was. I actually experimented with a couple of them just putting glue down. And it worked. But um, it wasn't... It wasn't quite as nice but if you you know if you want to try it I experimented that's a good thing to do okay let's get this off and you got already have um kind of get the loop really loose pieces off and let the ones that are stuck be there. You can see this is a loose piece in between here. Okay. So you rub that off. And um, I'll use a different color just so you can see. There's walnut stained. This will be a little bit different color. I can use the same thing though, I think. Not as dark. Maybe a little bit from what was left on there, but so it's not quite as dark. You can use distress ink, you could use uh, permanent ink. I'll do a permanent ink one for you this off. I don't try to reuse them. Get this in the garbage. acorn. Acorn is kind of a greenish brown. Like an acorn before it's ripe. don't like how something looks like here was some I I'm kind of taking it off after I've done this and I just go over it with the color so that goes from looking like this color to looking like that Another one I tried was um, excuse me, putting my arm in the way. Uh, here is potting soil. 
was a little bit lighter brown. So it's lighter where it leaves behind um, some of the tissue, like in there. Okay, so then you just go ahead and grunge them up, and that's what they look like without anything on them. You know, this one here has a lot, quite a bit of tissue left on that's kind of loose. I'm going to take a little bit more off. This might have a little bit of the other color on it yet and that's okay. It's getting a little more brown on it. Okay, and then you go ahead and you've got your old grungy backgrounds and then you just start um, decorating them. You might want to use um, Tim Holtz people, like this would fit on here and I could put a label up here. Or a ticket. It's going to be a quick one, guys. Um, you could put a uh, flower, like a, a washi sticker. I'm just kind of digging. I've got a few things in here. A specimen tag. I could put a number thing on there. Don't have anything right handy, I don't think. You know, like that. So you just start putting stuff on them and decorating them and I don't think I would use that. I've got, I don't have that many um, things pulled out, but you can, you can put something underneath, you know, like you could put something like this on underneath a person or whatever, but I think it's neat seeing the grunge grow through it, go through it. There's something that, you know, you could put sideways or something but you can see what I used on here stamps a ticket I have a little sentiment on here do all the good you can and a Tim Holtz person this is a faux stamp that I made years ago a washi sticker of a fern and a collection thing um, this one has a stamp a postage stamp and a little girl sitting on it and her name's Mabel and I, I saw that was in there and I had to do it because that's what I called my my golf cart when I had a golf cart in the other place we used to live. I called her Mabel and the girl who bought it, woman who bought it, still calls her Mabel. And it came from when my kids were little and it was a cartoon. And it isn't even the right words, but it was, the you know, this thing would pat on the head, the dog or whatever, and say, you're a good kid, Mabel. And we used to do that to our kids all the time. And then I saw it as later on, and it doesn't even say you're a good kid, Mabel, you know, but it's something like that. But we always did that for our kids. This one I put on a bus ticket on one of the um, labels I made by doing us the outline of a of a 
uh, tag or a label type thing on a math page and one of Tim Holtz people. Um, here's uh, just a Tim Holtz florist thing. Bulbs 50 cents came from somewhere else. This is a washi sticker. Um, again, a not big number. Tim Holtz, one I made. This is one of the uh, tickets that I made when I bleached them. This is one of my labels that I made. And I have a Tim Holtz ballerina that shine and sparkle, it says Valder. So that's, that's all you have to do. And then you just start decorating them. And, you know, you can see I did the edges. Um, I did the back and the front. And I got that um, distressed. This one was acorn, so it's green, greener, you know. And this one, I think, was one of the, uh, probably the um, potting soil. This was espresso. Yeah. So, um, that's, that's it. That's what you do. You just can make the grungy background and then decorate them. So I used, this is book page, book page, uh, book page. This was one, I have a, had one or two uh, things I had printed out from a digital I had bought at one time. And so, you know, vary it. This one had, was one of the pages from the book that I did the leaf out of. So that's it. Okay, this is it. Go try it. <laughs> it's kind of fun all right and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for being with me